Hello everyone, Pixelmonk here, and welcome to an old school runescape guide showing you how to complete the quest, The Temple of Ikov. This quest is considered experience difficulty and is medium length, about 20 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 42 thieving, 40 ranged, the ability to defeat a level 84 fire warrior of Les Arcus with ranged only, a Guardian of Armadillo level 43 if you're siding with Lucian, and Lucian level 14 if siding with Guardians of Armadillo. The required items for this quest include you, magic, or dark bow, knife, 20 limpwort roots unnoted, and a light source. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have teleports to Varrock and Ardoin, Ava's accumulator, ranged armor, Weight reducing gear such as graceful gear, however, don't bring the boots. If you don't have graceful, you can also try and bring penance gloves and a spottier cape. It is important that you have a maximum weight of negative one kilogram or less. If it's over that, then keep ranged equipment in the bank for now. And 43 prayer. There are some maps in the description below that help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. To start the quest, you must first go to the Flying Horse Inn in East Ardoin. It is located just north of the Ardoin Castle. Once there, talk to Lucian. When prompted, say, I'm a mighty hero, and... That sounds like a laugh. He'll give you a pendant of Lucian. Equipped the pendant. Now you'll have to go to the temple that is located just west of the Sorcerer's Tower. Once there, climb down the ladder. Follow the path west to a set of stairs and go down them. Walk into the very back corner of this room on the eastern side. You should see a spider web. Click on the web to cut through it. Pick up the boots of lightness and equip them. Head back upstairs when finished. You can now drop the light source and knife to help reduce your weight if needed. First go to your worn equipment tab and open up your equipment stats. You must have a weight of negative one kilogram or less to continue on with the quest or else you will fall into the lava and die. When ready, enter the northern gates and cross the bridge on the western side. Once through, go inside the building and pick up the leather on the southern side of this room. Now, go back across the bridge and through the gates you originally came in at. In between the southern gates and the ladder is a lever bracket. Use your lever on the bracket to attach it, then pull the lever down. For the next part of this quest, you'll be avoiding aggressive level 61 ice spiders. Using Protect from Melee will be very helpful against them. If this option isn't available for you, then head back to Ardoin and bank for food if needed. When ready, go through the southern gates and continue running north. Go into the little alcoves of the cave to find chests. Open these chests to receive 1 to 5 ice arrows. Keep opening the other chests in the cave until you receive 20 to 30 arrows. This could take some time. You can hop worlds if you have already searched through all the chests to reset them. Exit through the gate when done. If you don't already have your ranged equipment on or have your limpwort roots, now is the time to bank. So head back to Ardoin to get them. When ready, go back to the temple. Enter the northern gate again and continue heading all the way north. Right click on the lever in this room and select search for traps, then pull the lever. During this next part of the quest you will be fighting a level 84 fire warrior of Lasarcus, who can only be damaged with ice arrows. Using protect from magic while fighting him is very helpful. If you take too long to defeat him, he will disappear. When ready, walk along the western path and open the door.
Continue walking north and try to open the next door. The warrior will appear. Defeat him to continue on. Once defeated, open the door to the north and talk to Winelda. A cutscene will occur and she'll teleport you to the other side of the lava pit. Continue walking north until you come across a brick wall. Click on the wall to push it open. Now you'll either have to side with Lucian or with the Guardians of Armadil. The only real difference between the two is which item you'll end up with, an Armadil Pendant if you side with the Guardians or a Staff of Armadil if you side with Lucian. If you choose to side with the Guardians, unequip your Pendant of Lucian and talk to a Guardian. When prompted, say, I seek the Staff of Armadil. Lucian will give me a grand reward for it. You're right, it's time for my yearly bath, and... Okay, I'll help. They'll give you a Pendant of Armadil. If you choose to side with Lucian, try and pick up the Staff of Armadil in the Northwestern Room. Defeat a Guardian, and then pick it up. When ready, teleport to Varrock. Walk to the small building in between the Grand Exchange and Edgeville. If you have chosen to side with the Guardians, equip your Amulet of Armadil and fight Lucian inside to complete the quest. If you sided with Lucian, talk to him to deliver the Staff of Armadil to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received one quest point, 10,500 range experience, and 8,000 fletching experience. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.